We've just got the sink here. You got that there. Sink, hot and cold. Obviously you have to turn the pump on in order to use it. You got all your cleaning equipment just there. You need to activate that clip. And you've got for hot water, a tea strainer there for making tea, cooking utensils there, espresso machine, grounded coffee only, cups, salt and pepper. And just make sure that this is turned down ways in order for this lid to close. Top shelf, you should find a chamois and tea towel. Pots, pans, plates. You've got your tables there and your brush and pan. And then you've got, this is for your waste. So you can put your green waste in here and then your hard rubbish just there for when you want to take it away for recycling. Head cabinets here, which you can use as storage. It goes all the way there and all the way back. You've also got your blind coverings. So we suggest you put your blind coverings for the right side on your right side of the van and your left side for the left side of the van. They are all labeled, so you will know which goes where. They just magnet magnetize on the side of the frame. I'm just about to show you now the pull up bed. So you'll pull that up, activate the lever just there and You've got a porta potty just there. On the wall of where the power box is, you will see this cap. You'll have to remove it. And there are the fuses. You'll have to remove the fuse that's related to the cooktop if you do need to reset it or for the hot water unit via this position here. You've got your blind coverings too for your front windscreen. You've got your battery power there. And you've also got your hot water unit, which is diesel run. It gets extremely hot, so whatever you do, do not put anything on top of it. So clear steer of storage in there. You've got some storage just there to put things that you want to put. You can also access, you've got your camping chairs there available. And we'll pop that down, and you do want to turn the turn snib when you put it down so it does not damage this 